Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So in the last video we solved the question subsets. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to watch it. Now we are moving to another problem that is subsets 2. Now in this problem, uh, there's just a slight difference. We are given duplicates. In the previous problem, we were not given duplicates. Now we will see what problem arises if we have duplicates. For that, we will take an example. So the example I'm taking here is 1, 2, 2. Now I will try to find out all the subsets of this using the same algorithm that we used in the subset problem. Okay, so that's why uh, you should watch that video and you should know how did we find the subsets of a given string or a given vector using backtracking and recursion. Alright, so we will go to each number and for each number we will have two options. The first option is to take that number into consideration and the second option is to ignore it. Okay, so first we are on the number one. For this I have two options. I can either take it or I can ignore it. So first I'm ignoring it. So this is uh, my set. This is one of my set. It is empty because initially it was empty. Now also it is empty because I ignored one. What I'm left with is 2, 2. I will be left with 2 and 2. Okay. And if I take one, then in the set 1 will come and the numbers which are remaining are 2, 2. Okay. Now again, for the number 2, the first 2 at the index 1, we again have two options. So here we have two options. The first option is to take two uh, and the second option is to ignore two. First of all, we are ignoring it. So in the set, we are not going to include anything and the number which is left is the last two. And here we are taking it. So the set was empty. Now we are taking two here and we are left with the last two. Here also we have two options. The first option is to uh, ignore this two. So if we ignore this, one is there in the set and one will remain. We are left with the last two and here we are taking this two. So one and two will come into the set. One was already there, right? So that's why one and two will already come into the set and two will be left. Now for this one again, we have two options. First is to ignore the uh, ignore this two. If we ignore this, the set is empty. If we take this, two will come into the set and nothing will be left because we reached till the end of the array. Now here also we have two options. The first one is to uh, take uh, ignore this. So if we ignore this only two will be there in the set this the set only two will be there and if we take it then two two will come into the set here also we have two options one is already there so if we ignore this two one will be left if we take this two one and two will come into the set again we reach till the end so nothing will be left here also we have two options the first is to uh, ignore this two so if we ignore this we already have one two into the set and if we take this then one two two okay so we were able to generate all the eight subsets right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now the problem because of these duplicates is we will be having some duplicate subsets as well now where are those subsets can you locate them so here we can see we have 1 2 and here again we have 1 2 this is duplicate here we have 2 and here again we have 2 this is another duplicate. We don't want to include these duplicates. It is uh, given in the question. The solution must not contain duplicate subsets. Return the solution in any order. Now, uh, see, we can see here one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six subsets are there. Only six unique subsets are there. So we don't have to include the duplicates here. Otherwise, if we were allowed to have the duplicates, we would have used the same algorithm. But now we need to make slight changes in that algorithm that we used to find the subsets in the previous video, in the previous problem. We have to just change it slightly so that we can just ignore these duplicates. Okay, so uh, let me just erase it and then try to see that how we can do that. Just, I'm just deleting the last level here. So let's first consider this part. So the important thing is if we are ignoring this two, if we are ignoring this two, we should also ignore the next two because both these elements are same. So if we are ignoring this, we should also ignore this. Okay. So let me just try to demonstrate what I mean. Basically here, if we go to the left hand side, we are ignoring this particular two. So in the next step, we will only have one choice that is to ignore this two as well. So if we do that, we will have an empty set and we won't have the two that we were having previously. Okay. We were having these two sets, but we won't be having this. Why so? Because we came to this side. If we ignored this particular two, 
right if we ignored this particular two then we came to the left hand side and because we ignored this two we should also ignore this two because they both are same in value that's what we have to keep in mind so we will not have this choice of taking this particular two we will only have a choice to ignore this and we will only have this empty set okay next so if we take this two if we are taking this two and going to the right hand side here we are picking this two and we are going to the right hand side then we will have again two options the first option is to ignore this two or to take it okay so if we ignore it we will be having two and if we take it we will be having two and two okay so we only have to keep in mind that if we are ignoring a value if you are let us say if we are ignoring this particular two if you are ignoring this value we should also ignore all the values that are equal to this we should also ignore all the twos which are coming in future all right now we will see how we will uh, how we are going to code this efficiently but just wait for that let me just uh, try to make it more clear with the help of examples now here again we can see there are duplicates so let me just get rid of uh, these levels as well so we came here so basically we came here to the left hand side if we ignored this two okay now as we ignored this two we should also ignore the next two so we will not be allowed to go to the right hand side by picking up this two okay because we will have to ignore this two as well using the same logic so just getting rid of this we won't be having one and two here only one will be there and the only op because the only option is to ignore this two so that's why okay and we came to the right hand side by picking up this two and if we pick up this two we will have two options for the next two as well we will we can either pick it or ignore it so here we have two options either to ignore it or to pick it so here we can see we will be having only unique subsets at the end one two three four five and six unique subsets and that is what we need so the only thing that we need to keep in mind is if we ignore x x is an element if we ignore x we ignore or we should ignore all x okay so this is what we need to keep in mind and if we pick x like if we consider x into the set then for the next x the same value we will have options to either pick it or to ignore it but if we ignore it we should ignore all the x's now this will be uh, more clear with the help of the code obviously in the code i will tell you how to do this so one of the best way is to just sort the given array okay so if we sort the given array let's say um, if we sort it one two two three 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 it will be much easy to compare uh, the x's all the same values right it will be much easier to compare the same values we can just compare it with the previous value right so by sorting it becomes very easy to compare that if the last value was same or not okay now let us say we are here at this two then we will see what is the last value if the last value is same as this then we will see if we picked the last value or not so in case we are ignoring the last value we should also ignore this value which is same as the last value all right so nothing is different from the subset problem that is why i'm just copying the same code here copying the same code and then i will just slightly change it so here we have the exact same code but name of the function is different that is why i'm just copying this and pasting it over here and deleting the function name now this is the exact same code and let me just run this so that it is clear that this is the same code see we are getting the correct answer but with the duplicates now we have to ignore this duplicates okay so for that the first thing that i told is to sort the given array i'm just sorting the given array num sort begin num sort end after the sort all the elements with the same value will come together so these values uh, will be come together and it will be much simple to just check them we can just check the current value with the previous value if it is same okay so if nums of i if it is equal to the previous value that is nums of i minus 1 now before checking this condition i should make sure that i is within the boundaries so i should be greater than 0 okay 
that is uh, then only we will be able to compare with i minus 1 if i is equal to 0 in that case i minus 1 will not exist and it will give me an error that error is segmentation fault all right so if both the values are same if the current value is same as the previous value in that case i will see if i have ignored the pre previous value okay if i have ignored the previous value i should ignore this value as well by ignoring i means i will not consider it into the set so here we were taking two decisions the first decision was to take x take the ith element the second decision was to ignore the ith element so if we have ignore the previous element which is same as the current element we should ignore this element as well okay we will not consider it okay for that i will keep a variable in that variable i will mark if i have picked up the previous element or not okay so let me name that variable as previous now this previous variable it could be a boolean variable so if i picked up the previous element i will mark it as one or true if i didn't pick up the previous element i will mark it as false if i ignore the previous element this value will be false so if it is not i'm just making the not of it so if i ignore the previous element i should ignore this value as well so if this is the case i don't have an option to take the ith element so how to do this like i have to take the not of this whole expression and then put it inside it then so that i can just ignore executing this code this code of selecting the ith element right instead of doing that what i can do is i can just bring this up i can always ignore i can always ignore this and if this is the case i can just return after ignoring this element right and if it is not the case i can just consider this element and then move forward now as i included one more parameter previous so let me let me just make previous here int previous or let me just make it a boolean type okay bool previous so this previous will denote that whether i have picked up the previous element or not so here if i ignore this element this will become false and if i picked up this element this will become true so in those cases in which i have not picked up the current element and if the next element is same as the current element i will just ignore it and then return from here i will not consider it and go ahead okay i hope it is clear now from here also i will just pass it as false let me just try to run this i hope there are no compilation errors yes it is giving us correct answer let me just submit it now all right it got accepted now once again this is 2 raised to the power n this is exponential time solution and it is taking of course exponential space in the worst case it might be possible that all the elements are unique in that case i will end up making 2 raised to the power n number of sets so the space complexity in the worst case is also 2 raised to the power n exponential okay so this was a pretty simple straightforward solution you just have to know the uh, solution to the subset problem that we have covered in the previous video if you haven't watched that make sure to watch it and make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon if you want more such content in future and please leave your likes and your suggestions and your comments down below